Congratulations to Nomadland, the shit in the bucket movie. Yes, it won Best Picture at the Oscars. And we're going to talk about that tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around. Okay, welcome to the report for Tiger Mountain. As you know, anyone who knows the report for Tiger Mountain knows that I run the Melbourne Underground Film Festival and I'm a filmmaker myself. So every now and then we'll uh, veer off into film criticism. And I'm going to talk about the film Nomadland, which won um, Best Picture at the Oscars. And it's directed by some Asian lady who you've never heard of from China. And uh, I call it the shit in the bucket movie, you know, because uh, Frances McDormand, who is a great actress, I'll give her that. I mean, she uh, was fantastic in Fargo and she's been pretty good in some other movies. I don't know if she's that good in this movie, but... Um, she gets the shit in the bucket, and not just once, twice. You know, I was hoping for three, for basically three times to get to see a shit in the bucket. You know, but we don't. We didn't get the third. They didn't want to spoil us, ladies and gentlemen. They didn't want to spoil us too much. You know, you only get two, uh, two shit in the buckets uh, from Francis McDormand per movie. It's in a contract. You know, she wouldn't do. She wouldn't give us the third. But um, it's, it's absolutely a terrible movie. Um, the film is a kind of, um, how would you call it? I would call it kind of poverty porn. Um, it's basically, I mean, one of the things you'll notice in our society, the globalists have basically um, lowered, while, while promising through the, the, the fiction of identity politics, that things are getting better and everything progressive and black people are being helped and, you know, women are being helped and all minorities are being helped. The truth is none of them are being helped at all and the elite are just getting richer and richer and richer. And basically it's getting so that it's become very hard for young people to avoid a home. And that the future for most people is the kind of future that it's in nomad land where people are basically living out of their cars or living out of their kind of combi vans or if they're lucky, they're a combi van or maybe they've got a, I don't know, like a whatever, you know, basically living out of your car. And um, this is the kind of future that is that it could technically be the family things improve economically in the West could be the future for many people. And this film I thought was promoting that. That's what I found it sickening. I mean, you know, and... Um, because the woman in it, Frances McDormand's character, she works for Amazon. And obviously she's getting paid so little, she can't afford to I don't know, live at a near Amazon somewhere, wherever the Amazon factory. Maybe she's got to go to a couple of different Amazons. But, you know, she, she only still makes enough to live in a car. And she's freezing. It's set in, and like she's up in the north of America somewhere where it's free, near, near Canada, where it's freezing. And, you know, and it also it starts, she was originally in a town that, um, you know, it was like one of these mining towns. Of course, the mining was outsourced to God knows where third world country. So this film was kind of like celebrating the, the death of America uh, economically. And I no wonder the Hollywood elite loved it because it's exactly the kind of message they want to promote. And then it's got this kind of fake message about, isn't it wonderful to be a nomad? I mean, the woman's got to be, I don't know how old Frances McDormand is. She's got to be in her mid-60s, doesn't she? She's got a mid-60s. She's heading into her 70s and she's driving around in a car, freezing to death, shitting in a bucket. And this is the film that won best um, picture, ladies and gentlemen. It's an absolute joke, I think. And I think the film's insulting, terrible. The film is not, I mean, I suppose it's woke because it's directed by uh, an Asian woman and it's the first time an Asian woman has ever won best director. But, I mean, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of better films that they could have chosen than this. And I think it's got the underlying message, which is the globalist message of you're all going to be living in your cars and shitting in a bucket, you know. And I guess, you know, I mean, you've got to look at it from the perspective of shit in a bucket movies. This could be the Citizen Kane or shit in a bucket movies, ladies and gentlemen. It could be here with Nomadland. It's out locally now on DVD and Blu-ray. If you haven't seen it, go get it out. Get your bucket out at home. And you can sit there while Francis McDonald is shitting in the bucket. You can shit in the bucket at home. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Report from Tiger Mountain. Nomadland. It sucks. Bye.